They are flown by pilots in Lincolnshire to gather intelligence and launch airstrikes over Afghanistan. Britain's fleet of military drones, known as Reapers, has been shown in public for the first time in an effort to get beyond the controversy surrounding the unmanned aircraft blamed for causing civilian deaths, the RAF insists the planes are saving lives of British troops on the ground. Paul Mason has been to RAF Waddington in Lincolnshire to see the Reapers in action as part of our series on the March of the Machines. His report does contain archive footage of combat attacks which some viewers may find distressing. They call it asymmetric warfare, when your power is massively bigger than somebody else's. In this real-life footage from a British Reaper drone, a Taliban fighter fires his weapon, then retreats along a wall. A missile is fired, but as he enters a civilian compound, the pilot swings the crosshairs onto open ground, missing on purpose. There are five British Reapers in Afghanistan, and this is where the pilots sit, at an RAF base in Lincolnshire. They've launched 41 missile strikes from here since April. There are no figures for the numbers killed. Yesterday, the Ministry of Defence staged a drone's photo call. They gave journalists unprecedented access and presented drones big and small. Their aim was to change the terms of debate about a technology that's still controversial. What's on the screens is fake, the rest is for real. This is where they fly the Reaper drones from. You must have personally pressed the button on a strike mission. Is that something you can talk to us about? Um, not really, but um, it, it does happen. And All I can say is it's something that is not taken lightly at all. In a few hours' time, these men could be flying real missions over Afghanistan, including striking targets for real. It gives them massive asymmetry of force over their enemies. But the real question is, what do they do about the asymmetry of perception between them and potentially civilians on the ground reacting to what they may be about to do? You're clear. All right, firing. This shocking video is from a manned aircraft, a US Apache helicopter in Iraq. Come on, fire. It shows the Americans mistakenly shooting two Reuters journalists among some Iraqi fighters One eight, and destroying a minibus that arrives to take the casualties to hospital. Clear. British officers, appalled by such scenes, acknowledge the worries they create about air warfare, manned or unmanned. Are you confident that we are able to adequately avoid civilian casualties with this machine? Um, I would say with this machine we are better empowered to be able to avoid civilian casualties. Sitting in that environment, away from direct threat to yourself, allows you to have more cognitive thought processes rather than emotional reactions on a defensive basis. Don't we rely on soldiers and airmen having emotional reactions to other human beings? Absolutely, and don't get me wrong, um, the guys in the cockpit are very, very aware of what's going on on the other side uh, of the sensors. The Americans used drones in Pakistan and Yemen, neither officially war zones. One estimate puts civilians killed by drones in Pakistan alone at 416 over the past 10 years. And campaigners are worried that for the Brits this is a slippery slope. At the moment, there is absolutely no openness about how drones are being used, yet we know that children and civilians are being killed uh, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan and in Yemen. This is just not acceptable. It's immoral and it's illegal. With the MOD set to make a big investment in drones, both to strike and to gather intelligence, the Defence Secretary knows there's a persuading job to do. Do you know how many civilians have been killed by these machines? Well, we're aware of one incident in uh, 2011 where, sadly, uh, civilians were killed uh, in a remotely piloted air system um, strike uh, when an explosive load on a vehicle um, exploded and unfortunately caused uh, collateral damage and civilian casualties. And obviously that's very much uh, regretted, but that, of course, could happen uh, with a strike from a manned aircraft. There were four civilians killed then. The MOD has no figures for how many combatants it's killed with drones. How do we stop ourselves getting it wrong when we are doing this stuff around civilians? Well, I think you've made the point that there have been examples of it being got wrong from manned aircraft. Uh, and in the nature of warfare, uh, mistakes will occasionally be made. But the levels of safeguards uh, and the systems 
uh, in place and the rules of engagement are exactly the same. So we, we use exactly the same systems uh, to ensure that we minimise any risk of collateral damage or civilian casualties. With drones becoming part of everyday life for British soldiers, the arguments will continue.